In this House of Logic video, we're going to use Docker and Ubuntu, uh, along with Grafana and Prometheus, and a ping exporter to do some simple network monitoring. So I have an Ubuntu system here, which in my case is running on LXC, um, and it's just for personal preference, really. You can do this basically on any um, current version of Linux. And it can be on a VM, could be on a um, LXC container, whichever you prefer. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, interestingly interesting username Sir Wonk uh, Ping Exporter um, in order to do the basic uh, network monitoring. Um, so what we're going to start off with doing um, first of all on your um, on your Linux machine, you want to install Docker. Um, and to do that, you are uh, in my case certainly on Ubuntu is you're going to do sudo apt get update which in my case I believe will come back as already up to date and then you're going to want to do apt get install docker.io and again in my case that's already installed so then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go and set up the actual config file for the ping exporter so I've already created um, the directories here, and I'm going to include um, the config files I'm using, um, probably with a few IP address and hostname changes, um, when I um, when I release this video. So uh, what we should have in here is a config file, and I've got some targets, and those are the host names, and I've already set up internal DNS um, to some devices on my home network. Um, there's a, a DNS server to uh, resolve those to addresses and also some some basic information about how often to refresh and how often to uh, to actually gather the uh, the metrics that we're going to capture. So we're not going to change any of those but what we are, are going to do now is we're going to use docker to um, fire up the ping exporter and I'm going to include all of these commands um, in the repo so you don't have to worry about the exact details of them but that's going to run that in a daemon form so if we now do sudo uh, docker ps uh, then there we go we have the ping exporter up and running now the ping exporter um, in fact here's one I prepared earlier um, I have um, set this up and you can see here on the docker host IP address 192.168.5.142 port 9427 as specified in the commands We've got some. Um, we've actually got some actual packets being captured here. Sorry, actual metrics being captured already about the packets. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do at this point is we're going to set up the other bits and pieces needed to glue this whole thing together. So what you need to do is you're going to need to set up Prometheus proper uh, to connect to the exporter. So we are going to go into the Prometheus um, directory that I've already created. And again, we're going to have a look at the uh, the config file in here, which is called Prometheus.yaml. Um, and that's set here to uh, do the scrape configs. So it's got a job of ping exporter, and it's got the target, again, of the IP address of the Docker host. So not localhost, because if you try localhost, it will try and talk to its own container localhost address. You want it to talk to the host address. So we've gone with 192.168.5.142, which is the Docker host address, and the port number for the um, for the ping exporter. So with that set, then what we can do is we can go and create the uh, Prometheus Docker volume, like so. And then we can go and fire up the Docker uh, container. So again, I'll include all of these commands in the repo so basically you're you're running um, the Prometheus instance and you're going to be binding it onto port 9090 which means when that's finished coming up then what we can do here is we can go and we can change the port number to 9090 and we've already got here some uh, some Prometheus uh, information which should be showing and it may take a few seconds while it works out the scrapes so let's just see if we can query it in fact we'll try there is a there is a um an actual metric called up as part of the um ping exporter that i'm trying to capture to get to and it's not letting me at the moment so there we go i'm not seeing any errors within here Let's see if we can find anything else. No, let's try, I'll tell you what, we'll go back to query. And I think there might be an explore metrics button. Let's just try up now and see if that works. No, 
Okay, it's not having any of it. Okay, no matter. What we'll do is we'll carry on. And um, with that up and running, and um, with no obvious signs of any problems, um, we're going to go and have a look at Grafana. So if we do cd dot dot, um, I believe we can uh, simply go and create the uh, Grafana storage. Uh, although I do like to create a directory for it. Let me just remind myself what's in the directory. Yeah, there's nothing in that. Okay. And we will simply do that to create a volume mapping for Grafana. And finally, we'll run that one. And that should pull down the Grafana image. And this is bound on uh, port 3000, so you can see the port binding there. So again, same details. And we will need to connect on port 3000 this time. Okay, that's done. Now over here and change the port number. And for the first time logging in, it's admin and admin, and it will immediately tell you to change your password. And Chrome always hates that particular password. And there we are, we are connected into Grafana. Now what we want to do is we need to add a data source and we're going to go into data source underneath connections and choose Prometheus. And we can't use localhost as mentioned previously. So we're going to use 192.168.5.142 and then 9090. So we're not connecting directly to the exporter, we're connecting to the Prometheus instance. We don't need to worry about authentication or in fact any of the other details. You can just click save and then you can go straight through to dashboards, create a dashboard, add a visualization, and choose your Prometheus data source. It is the only one you have. Um, so what we will do, let's see if we've got ping loss ratio. That seems like a good one. And we'll select the target as the label. And hopefully this, there we go, we have a time series appearing. We have a time series that's not going to show us very much because it's only been running for a few minutes. We'll put on last five minutes and then what we're going to do down here is we're going to change the legend and make that custom and we'll make that be target and then we can uh, refresh that again and we stripped off all of the other information so we've got the router.lan raspberry pi 2 and the hp 2630 so that's showing our, uh, our actual ping loss ratio let's see if we can find something else in here Let's see if we can try ping up and see if that, that shows. That says everything's up. Now, uh, i tell you what. Let's go with ping loss ratio again. Let's refresh it to that. Okay, so if I change the title on here and call it network ping loss ratio. Whoops, not ratio. Um and then hit save, new dashboard will do, that'll do for now, and we can go back to the dashboard and then we can see uh, that particular graph. Now let's uh, save the dashboard, let's see how fine a grain we can go for the last five minutes. Okay, so what we're going to do quickly is I'm going to go and unplug the uh, the printer, the HP 2630, which quite honestly causes me plenty of grief anyway, um, and what we should then see is this graph go up. So um, what I will do is do that quickly and give it a couple of minutes and a cut forward in the video to where you can see a difference. Okay, so as you can see, uh, it's a couple of minutes later and uh, there we go. We're already getting some packet loss um, on the HP 2630, which is, uh, is now showing, yeah, it's not responding, whilst the other devices continue to respond as intended. Uh, so that's simple network monitoring, um, putting into a time series in Grafana using Prometheus and a ping exporter. Um, I hope this has been of use, and um, if so, please like and subscribe on the channel. Um, otherwise, we'll catch you next time. Thanks very much. Bye now.